Cambodia is one of the least developed countries in Asia. But even if inequality and poverty are rampant, this country's progress in AIDS response is striking. The government made HIV prevention and treatment one of its priorities, and it used its budget, mostly coming from international aid donations, to tackle the HIV epidemic. As a result, in the last years, new HIV infections have dropped by 67%. And although 75,000 Cambodians still live with HIV, more than two-thirds of them receive antiretroviral therapy. We are in Phnom Penh to discover why this country has the highest therapy coverage in the region. To do that, we meet those who fight HIV every day. The Pasteur Institute in Cambodia has been created 60 years ago, and we have three missions. The first mission is to provide services to the community and to the ministries and the private sector like vaccination or testing food and uh, extra. The second mission is to develop research and we are focusing on the major infectious diseases like malaria, HIV, hepatitis, tuberculosis and avian flu. And the third mission is to train young scientists in Cambodia for being able to answer to the future public health concerns here in the region. In Cambodia, there are more than 200 centers that offer free HIV tests and counseling. This was the first one and was opened 20 years ago. In Cambodia, it is fairly easy to get treatment for free. People who want to know if they are positive or not, they can go to anonymous counseling and testing centers. And uh, then if you are detected positive, uh, you can get the treatment in the hospitals, you can get treatment in many different places. And there is a national center against HIV called CHATS, and are doing a very good job. Still, HIV is a major problem among poor communities. This slum is home to scavengers, sex workers and drug users, and many of them are HIV positive. Today, they are getting harm reduction kits from Friends International and Meet Some Lam, two NGOs that work together to provide medical help and basic health education. Im has been doing this job for 11 years. She explains that many of those who live here are illiterate, so they use pictures to draw attention on good practices. She says condoms are preventing HIV transmission, and education and free access to treatments are paramount. This kind of activity is very important because it is not finished. HIV is continuing in Cambodia, so we have to continue to focus and send messages. The young are not really aware of the mechanism of transmission of HIV. So we have to continue to communicate. It is very important. Cambodia will spend $3.7 million in HIV treatment between 2015 and 2017. But even if last December its Prime Minister committed to stopping new HIV infections by 2020, challenges remain. The general prevalence, that means the proportion of uh, HIV positive uh, patients, in Cambodia, the average is around 0.5, which is very good. We do not have a vaccine yet, so stopping HIV is just stopping the behaviors which uh, may allow HIV transmission. Stopping HIV only in one country in, and not in the neighboring countries like in Thailand or Vietnam and so on, so on it will be difficult. But in, in terms of the behavior, for decreasing transmission, we can reach a very low level of transmission. But in terms of public health, we need to have such objective to stop, and we will see.